weird video games. Jailbreak is a very straightforward game at first glance. A bunch of convicts have escaped from prison, and the authorities, being whoever they are, send you, a lone police officer, to return them to prison, but hey, you get a pistol. The prisoners, who all manage to steal heavy weaponry, but not quite get rid of those pesky balls and chains, are... Like, what are the point of these big iron balls if they don't even restrict movement in the slightest? Look at this! Hold on, what did that voice say? No, I didn't quite catch that. Okay, let's get rid of the music. The warden has been taken hostage. Free him, no matter what the cost. Ah, okay. So they took the... Breaking out of prison wasn't difficult enough. They managed to take the warden hostage, too. This is really looking like a job for more than just one cop with a pistol. Even if he does have infinite ammo. Of course, this game isn't just about spraying everything with bullets. You also have to rescue innocent people. Like this little kid who chose to stand out in the middle of a hail of bullets and cry. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, hey, thanks for the rocket launcher, kid. Oh yeah, the innocent bystanders all have bazookas. The crooks are all armed with Molotovs and... Are those rivet guns? I don't know, they shoot little orange bubbles like every other show up so I guess they're some kind of machine guns? The artwork for the game seems to confirm this, so we'll just go with machine guns. Bystanders also include construction workers that run into the middle of gunfights, and women who run for safety with their babies on their shoulders. Wait, did they just flee from... That... That woman brought her baby to a casino. I mean, she also brought a rocket launcher to a casino, so we have that going on. This has to be Florida. More specifically, this looks a lot like Jacksonville. Yeah, I've been a Florida resident for three years now, but not a native. And I can definitely confirm this is Jacksonville. Some guy running down Main Street with a rocket launcher through hospitals and a jail, and some little kid running through Crossfire. Yeah, that's Jacksonville. They all just got out of a Jack Wars game and are pissed off that their team lost again. Okay, but the game tells me the first level is Broadway. Broadway? No way! That looks nothing like Broadway. Here, let me break it down for you. Level 1 is Jacksonville, level 2 is Tampa, level 3 is Cocoa Beach, level 4 is Miami, and level 5 is Orlando. This is totally Florida, man. And to be fair, Jacksonville, Tampa, and parts of Miami all look identical to each other. It just depends on how much meth is available and how polluted the beach is. Wait, level 4 is a bridge. What bridge is it? Well, clearly, that's the bridge that connects Miami to Cuba. You know what? This is now true. We're retconning this game so that now it takes place in Florida. I know we're not the developers, but this is our headcanon, and since this game came out 30 years ago and nobody's heard of it since, I think we can call ourselves the foremost authority. So I'm declaring it now. Skitch, Luke, and I have taken ownership of this game's canon and retconned it so that it now takes place in Florida. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye! I... There. That's more people than have actually played this game in the last 20 years. So, in the court of public opinion, I'm making it officially official. Some of the bad guys pop out of sewer holes and shoot at you, then duck back underneath. If you shoot them, the entire sewer just vanishes and the floor becomes completely solid. Naturally, this can be explained by fluctuations and ethereal quantum... Konami made it, okay? If you accidentally shoot civilians, you don't lose any lives or anything, you just lose all the weapons you collect and go back to the pistol. Considering you can collect a total of two extra weapons, this isn't a big deal. Just find two more hostages and you're back to a full arsenal. They weren't kidding when they said to rescue the war no matter what the cost. No matter what the cost. Civilians don't really matter that much. Just make sure you rescue the war and you can kill all the citizens you want. Also, when innocent civilians, including crying children, are hit with bullets, the reaction is, oh no! oh no! Which is a pretty mild reaction to your life being taken away, especially along a sliding scale that includes standing there and crying in a gun battle you're not involved in. There isn't much incentive to save these guys. It's easier and more fun to just shoot them all. The weapons they give you aren't even that great. The bazooka fires just one shot. And while it can go right through multiple opponents, it's really slow and hard to aim. All these enemies just take one shot to kill anyway, so it's better to just spray pistol bullets rapid fire. 
Then you have these tear gas canisters, which are better because you can shoot multiple rounds at once, but still not as wieldy as the pistol. I think this is the only game I've ever played where your default starting weapon is by far the most useful. The only advantage to these weapons is that they can destroy certain things. With the rocket launcher you can destroy these garbage trucks. Oh, okay, so the bad guys get their hands on machine guns, blow up walls, break out of prison, and then of any vehicle they choose to hijack garbage trucks. And your solution is to blow them up with a rocket launcher. Peace accomplished. When you beat a level, it shows you rounding up the crooks with a long chain and taking them back to a police wagon. You can hear a voice saying, Thank you, you saved me! Thank you, you saved me! Even though there's no sign at all of the warden or... Really, any indication of any human being or animal or alien or anything that you've just saved. And the text above says, Hello, hello, is there anyone there? Can someone please explain to me what this game is talking about? Now you might be thinking, maybe I rescued the warden that they took hostage. No, we still have a bunch more levels to go, and you only rescue the warden at the end. And you actually see it. The warden is visually acknowledged, as is the rescue that takes place. Right now, there's no indication of you saving anyone. I guess, maybe the innocent people hanging around? who are nowhere to be seen when you beat the level. And I mean, even if I just go through all the level and kill every single civilian, the message is still the same. Yes, I did go through and kill all the civilians just to see if it changed the ending because I am terrible. And there's just one singular voice, like you saved one single plot-relevant person who you never see! Also, unlike other games such as NARC, where you can actually arrest bad guys, all you do is shoot people. I'm gunning them down by the dozens, never stopping to give them a chance to surrender, but at the end, here I am hauling them to jail. And there's only four, like, are these the only surviving guys? I murdered this entire gang, took the four remaining guys and hauled them back to jail, like, job well done, Officer Tom. Thank you, other Officer Tom. Or are these, like, superhuman thugs who can carry around massive iron balls without slowing down, and then I can shoot with bullets or rockets and they just kind of get knocked out, then I slowly round them up in some kind of strangely unbreakable chain and take them back to prison? And this message, is there anyone there? What does that mean? Is that someone answering a phone call I just made and I just like abandoned my phone because I forgot I was in the middle of arresting some perps? I've seen some really weird games in my time. I've seen games where you're a freedom fighter with a machine gun that shoots music and a VHS tape of Steve Tyler from Aerosmith throws the keys to a car through a television screen, where you're a computer hacker that turns into a kabuki dancer in the Matrix killing robots with your hair, where you're a ninja that gets cursed by a sheep and turns into a sheep that shoots little sheep, <coughs> where you're a ten-year-old boy with a baseball bat fighting a giant fried shrimp, where you're a multiple personality disorder assassin fighting suicide bomber angel clown zombies and you open a washing machine and find a severed head that just starts having a perfectly normal conversation with you and this one screen from this one game just broke my brain. This game, where you're just a cop shooting at some bad guys, which is about as normal as they come, has so thoroughly thrown logic out the window that I'm completely baffled. Oh, by the way, the rocket launcher doesn't just blow up garbage trucks. You can use it to blow up barrels. Most of these barrels have nothing inside them and just give you 100 points, but then occasionally... Sup, Batman? Okay, let's just try and figure... No, there's no figuring. That's shirtless Batman. That is Sexy Batman. Sexy Batman was hiding inside that barrel, and I blew it up with a rocket launcher, thus freeing him, and... Blowing him up with a rocket freed him from a barrel. Which, just asking that question sidesteps the more obvious question of why Batman was hiding in a barrel without a shirt. And let's examine this in a more meta sense. Why did Konami decide to have you rescue Batman from a barrel with a rocket launcher? Konami! Little explanation, please? Also, that third weapon that launches tear gas canisters? Those are the only way to hit these guys in Windows. And if you do... Hitting a sniper with a gas grenade turns him into a naked lady. Look at this! It's a whole cruise ship full of nudity! The luxurious SS look at my boobs! I don't know, are you rescuing a naked lady? Or does the fact that you took out that crook make random women so hot they immediately strip down for you? Or... I don't know, you're shooting tear gas into windows, so maybe these ladies have to immediately run to the window in order to breathe? 
I somehow don't think that's what Konami had in mind. What about this one in the middle of the water? None of my explanations work here. Was she underwater the whole time? Or do tear gas canisters literally transmogrify some but not all of these guys into naked women? Do you ever play a game and ask yourself, what would it be like if they made this into a movie? If they made this into a movie accurately, it would be amazing. I would love to see it. A live action cop movie where in the middle of a gunfight, the cop stops to pull out a rocket launcher to randomly blow up a barrel, and then shirtless Batman pops out, thanks him, and then rushes off into the night never to be seen again. I mean, they'd probably have to pay licensing for it, but it'd be worth it. Then later on, in a shootout with a sniper, fires tear gas in the window, and the bad guy turns into a woman, and there's just sudden unexplained nudity. Give me a ticket to that, please. What kind of city planner decided to put all these sewer holes all right next to each other? Considering how little sense this game makes, I was genuinely surprised and a little disappointed that this bridge didn't have a sewer under it somehow. Anyway, after four levels, including this bridge, which I might remind you, we, the internet, have officially retroactively declared to be a bridge from Miami to Cuba, the final stage is inside prison, which I'm not sure I understand since this is supposed to be a jail break. If they broke out of jail, why are they in jail? And why are there so many children in jail? Florida. And women with babies. Gotta have those. I, I don't know, maybe they're there to visit their significant others in prison. Oh, and sewers. There's a sewer hole. Inside a prison. Guys, this is how people keep breaking out. Finally, the prisoners wheel the war note for the final battle. If you accidentally shoot the warden, you get an automatic game over. You lose all your lives and the game ends. Metal. But if you don't shoot the warden and defeat all the bad guys, you rescue him. And then... You save Manhattan. That is not a handshake. Why are there so many children in jail? Oh, that was just a product tie-in for the jailbreak attraction at Universal Studios. You know, it works really well when you do that for a park that doesn't exist yet.